The inquest of Perm is officially underway. Now, the more information that comes out about the Perm incident in Brixton, the more it makes you realise, without sugarcoating it, there were seriously deranged people that wanted to get the UK jewel wrapper. Now, I think we're so used to jewel wrappers running around the estate with phones in their hand, chasing each other down high streets, that when someone as known as Perm from CT gets involved in a car chase, crashes his car, tries to run away, but then is hunted down by a group of rivals that exit their Alfa Romero, they pull out a tour and fire it eight times into Perm. You know that this was an execution. There was no mistakes. They knew exactly what they wanted to do, and they didn't care about the time or place. And it serves as proof that you can't be both. You can't be a jewel rapper on one hand and a GM on the other. They serve completely different purposes, goals, objectives. You want to be a jewel rapper, to get out of your crappy situation, to make money, feed those around you, buy jewellery, clothes, a decent car, a home maybe, but then you want to be a GM because you want that reputation. You want people to fear you or to idolise you. You want to be infamous. Now the only one that really knows what happened and how the car chase went about is the passenger who was travelling with Perm in the MG. He was detained by the Met but has since been released on bail. This whole situation is going to get worse before it gets better. During the inquest, Perm's friends and family, his loved ones like his mum and dad, will have to sit there while evidence is presented that will show that Perm was involved in a certain type of lifestyle. A lifestyle that maybe his mum or dad or his auntie, uncle, did not know about. When they talk about priors, talk about surveillance, talk about the evidence to show that he was a GM, that's going to break their hearts. And that's why there's wider implications when you do something this stupid it has an effect on everyone that loved you or cared about you. Again, condolences to all those involved. Stay safe. Safe.